sequestration cuts? How are you planning for a possible another round of BRAC, the base realignment and closing? Uh, I mean, how do you factor all of that in? Obviously, in North Carolina with Fort Bragg and a lot of the other military installations, I think we have felt it in pockets around the state already. Um, and then, uh, to your point, I think there's more coming in the education space. I know in North Carolina, we'll probably see tens of millions of impact on budgets, as well as thousands of positions in early childhood work-study programs. Mm -hmm. So folks will be, as they go back to school, I think they will notice some of that. Um, but in terms of, uh, you know, I think it's all going to get blended as, as we cut revenues in, in North Carolina, probably some of those budgetary impacts. It's going to be confusing to the person on the street as to, is this federal, is this state? All they're going to notice is, uh, you know, Johnny doesn't get their work-study program anymore. Right, yeah. right. Same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Same thing. And South Carolina has a heavy reliance. We're one of the probably five states that rely on federal government the most. And it's, it's going to be difficult. But do you have any modeling, though, out there, uh, Curtis? Some, you know, but you know, it comes we know Savannah Riverside's not going <laughs> to yeah. get this money, or Columbia, Fort Jackson's not going to get this money. How does that work? Yeah, well, we looked at all that, but then you also look at it at the same time that the uh, new health care laws are all coming in. And then you think about that at the same time that maybe QE3 stops. And, and you get into all these things, and you model yourself to death. We're fortunate <laughs> that we are a conservative state. We don't have a lot of money, so we're careful. We don't have a lot of luxuries. So we think we'll be okay, but we'll wait and see.